Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this session, we're going to be managing assemblies and subassemblies in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise, you'll apply some assembly and subassembly management best practices to a drawing that contains multiple corridor assemblies. Go ahead and open up your assembly 1C drawing in your tutorials folder. This drawing contains several completed corridor assemblies. The assemblies are designed to create an intersecting main and side road. In your tool space, under your Prospector tab, select the Assemblies collection. Go ahead and expand this collection. Now when we look at the list view, you'll see that there's a specific name that was assigned to each assembly when they were created. The names describe the type of corridor as well as the specific portion of the corridor to which they apply. In the drawing, notice that each assembly has a label that corresponds to the assembly name. The labels are just simple AutoCAD M text that make it easy to see the construction of the available assemblies. In the command line, type in ZE for zoom extents. The drawing zooms out to the drawing extents. In the Toolspace Prospector tab, click on the Main Road Assembly. Right-click and select Zoom To. The drawing zooms to the Main Road Assembly. So let's assign some specific names to subassemblies. In the drawing, click on the Main Road Assembly Baseline. Right-click and select Assembly Properties. In the Assembly Property dialog box, go ahead and click on the Construction tab. Expand the collections in the Item tree. The subassemblies that comprise the assembly are displayed in the Item tree. Notice that the subassemblies are categorized into groups. Subassembly groups manage the order in which the subassemblies are processed during the corridor modeling. The first time you add a subassembly to an assembly, the subassembly is added to the first group. When you add the second subassembly to the first subassembly, the second subassembly also gets added to the first assembly group. The next time you select an assembly baseline, a new subassembly group is automatically created and subsequent subassemblies are added to that group. In the item tree, go ahead and click this subassembly. The subassembly parameters are displayed in the input values panel. You can modify the parameters as necessary from this panel. Right click on the assembly and select rename. We're going to replace this text with something a little bit more descriptive. I'm going to replace this portion right here and type in main road. I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of my subassemblies. And then I'll rename my groups. Then click OK. In the Toolspace panel, under the Prospector tab, go ahead and expand our assemblies, expand the main road and the baseline you'll see our renamed groups and you'll see our renamed subassemblies. For further exploration, you can go ahead and practice what you learn by renaming the subassemblies in the remaining assemblies. So that's how you go about managing assemblies and subassemblies in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCAD Civil 3D Training.com 
and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.